Would you look at that? Okay, snazzy text effects 101, let's go. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna select my color palette here, bring up my swatches panel, and I'm gonna add all of those colors as a new swatch group. Let's call this Retro. One thing I might do is just select my text here and I'm gonna change it to the background color. I'm gonna bring up my appearance panel, new fill. I'm gonna drag this underneath my current fill. Select my color here. Let's go with this dark one we just made. Effects here, I'm gonna to go to path, offset path. 10 pixels, we can just bump that up if we wanted to. Also gonna add a distort and transform, transform effect. Just offset that by minus one pixels on the horizontal and vertical. I'm gonna change the number of copies to 20. Whoop, wrong way. So we can just change that with a plus value there. That creates this cool sort of shadow effect. Let's knock that down to 15. There we go. Okay, select this fill. We're going to duplicate that. On the one underneath, I'm going to change the color to the lighter one. And I'm going to click on the transform. And I'm going to make that up in increments of 15. So let's change that to 30. Do it again. Duplicate this fill. Change the color to a lighter one. Transform again. Another increment of 15. Let's go to 45. Cool. Now, why do it that way? Why not just outline the type and you know add those effects manually? Now that we've done the hard work here, we can actually use this live text. How good is that? And not only that, if I bring up my graphic styles panel here, select this, and then just add a new graphic style, drag some shapes in over here, that graphic style can now be applied to anything. Nice.